Can you imagine a dreamier place to work? Not convinced? What if I told you the work week is only 32 hours? That's more like it. The island county of San Juan in Washington state is one of the first local governments in the U.S. to switch most of its employees to a 32-hour work week. Now six months in, the county's encouraged by what they've seen. First, the county didn't move to 32 hours out of sheer curiosity, as we've seen in some international experiments. This came out of labor negotiations, where the county says they could not afford the extra $1 million to foot the hourly wage increase pushed by the union for 40 hours a week. Instead, they settled on higher wages for 32-hour work weeks, so employees are making about the same overall, but working a full day less. 78% of employees reported their job impacts their overall health and well-being more positively since switching to 32 hours. 83% agree that it has improved their work-life balance. That makes sense. And the county has seen a 31% decrease in sick leave. 12% of respondents anecdotally mentioned feeling stressed about the 32-hour work week. The report says many of those are managers and supervisors tasked with maintaining productivity over fewer hours. But here's what really stuck out to me about this report, the math of it all. If you go from 40 to 32-hour work weeks, that's a 20% drop in hours worked. But in San Juan County, employee hours worked only dropped 8% over this change. How is that possible? Well, it's partly because the county is better at recruiting and retaining employees, meaning fewer vacancies and a fuller workforce. The county is filling open positions 62% faster since making the change. Last year, the county received just one local applicant in the first quarter. This year, they had 53 local applicants in the first quarter. 78% of county staff hired after the 32-hour work week say the schedule was the main factor they considered when applying. Also, separations dropped 46%, and 67% of employees say the 32-hour week is a huge factor in their decision to stay. Now, it's not all smooth sailing. Employees say when it comes to the public, about a third had positive feedback, but the same amount had negative feedback. See, some departments are only available four days a week, while others are staggering the shifts to stay open five. I should note that emergency services and the sheriff's office are not part of the 32-hour week. Interim County Manager Mark Tompkins said six months is just a drop in the bucket. Let's see what the one-year and two-year check-ins reveal as San Juan County charters new territory. I'm Simone Del Rosario for Straight Arrow News.